All right, so let's look at this first uh, listing here. IT help desk, IT support help desk, um, forty-five to sixty-five thousand a year. That might be all right if you live in the suburbs of Madison, but I anticipate like every other city that's probably right on the border of too low to actually get a decent place. But let's continue. Um. 401, 401k matching, so this is where a lot of companies do match up to 3 to 4%, in some cases 6%, but that's super, super rare. Uh, essentially, you want to put yourself in a position where if you do plan on retiring, which if you're a millennial, you probably won't retire, um, that this is, all, this is a good option. Uh, Dental insurance, I can assure you, is probably the cheapest insurance that you can get. Uh, health insurance, I'm pretty sure that your copay is going to be probably ridiculous, but let's continue on. Life insurance, eh, pay time off. Now the question is whether or not that pay time off rolls over or is limited because it's help desk. And I anticipate that a help desk role probably doesn't want you to take too many days off because, oh my god, Gertrude's email might explode. You know, whatever. Alright, so... You are a strong communicator who enjoys helping others. You are a skilled problem solver who is always looking to sink your teeth into something new. Essentially, you're not going to curse out your end users and they come up with some weird issues and you have to figure out some weird solution to some weird issues. That's really all this says. Uh, it's a tier 1, tier 2 support position. So you need to push on the higher side of the salary because chances are they're going to want you to have tier 2 knowledge and at some point probably within the first 90 days. Uh, Windows desktop and Office 365 you will work with users over the phone that means they're probably going to have your cell number. Um, remote support sessions so probably something like Bumgar or ConnectWise or I think Zoho has a desk assist or team viewer. Uh, let's see. Uh, you may be asked to help with additional IT with IT related projects, including technology deployments. Oh, you better get ready to learn Azure. They clearly don't want to pay for a sysadmin, and you're gonna have to pick up the slack. So I would push for like higher than what they're offering. Actually, um, let's see here. Skill development. We want you here forever, so make sure you learn what you can, and but we're not going to give you a raise. Uh, duties and responsibilities. Provide desktop support to end users via remote sessions and on-site. So essentially, you know, for the people that get to work from home, you're going to support those people as well as uh, people that actually come into the office. And that's why you're needed at the office every single day, because, you know, those people just don't have a life and can't stay at home. Whatever. Um... Am I biased much for remote work? Yes. Yes, I am. So, uh, let's see. Provide desktop support for Microsoft technologies. So, you know, run-of-the-mill Outlook, Word, Excel, probably OneNote, and depending on, like, what type of company it is, you know, you might have to do some additional stuff. Uh, configure and deploy new laptop and desktop systems. So essentially you're going to be handling offboarding and onboarding for new employees. So basically you're going to either have to wipe computers and give them to other people or you're going to have to set up all new users and stuff because the IT manager just simply does not want to. Respectable. Um, then you have Let's see, strong communication. I mean, everybody should have strong communications. Customer service skills, yeah. Smile while people are yelling at you. Must enjoy working as part of a team. You're probably going to have some trauma bonding with your employ empl fellow employees uh, by way of team support, team, you know, outings and whatnot. And they're probably going to try to do Christmas parties and things like that. So get used to it. Get ready. If you're an introvert and don't want to talk to people, chances are this role is probably not for you. Um, ability to work in a fast-paced environment, uh, which means that you're doing the work of two people in lieu of them actually hiring enough people in those positions. Um, ability to solve problems and learn quickly. Oh, they want you to get you, get you in Azure real quick. Um, let's see. 
building desktops and troubleshooting I'm gonna level with you most companies typically buy desktops pre-built so chances are you probably won't be doing any type of hardware support on any desktop it's usually probably just swapping it out for an RMA which I think I'm forgetting about an RMA but whatever um, so essentially you're gonna just take the box out of the you're gonna take the computer out of the Dell box, set it up in whatever office that people just don't go to anymore, or you're gonna hand off uh, either Dell laptops or probably no Lenovo because Lenovo is th the thing now. Um, and that's just generally it. Uh, associate or bachelor's degree in information technology related, basically they're just trying to convince the people who don't have degrees to not apply. I mean, that's really all it is. So if you have all of those other skills but you don't have a degree, apply anyway because they really don't care. They're just desperate to get you into the role quick, fast, and in a hurry and also for cheaply. Uh, one to two years of previous technical experience is considered. That means that that's actually the qualification that they really want. They just want you to say, hey, we have done this before. I'm qualified to do it again. And that's it. And if you only have that one or two years of experience, it's fine. Just apply anyway. They need you more than you need them, most likely. Uh, no experience needed right at the experience level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just want people, they, they just want the most desperate person who sort of qualifies. That's all it states. Um, the next one, let's look at this IT manager since we just looked at a help desk role. Um, ensures the reliability and redundancy of all IT systems, including Cisco Networks, Citrix, VMware, and Microsoft 365. So chances are that you're basically needing to know what Help Desk does as well as your sysadmins do and probably your cybersecurity guys and everybody else because after all it says IT manager which means that you're expected to know everything for very little pay. It's okay. Um, Let's see, provide guidance and oversight to IT team. You're basically the attendance taker. Sorry. Uh, drives the department's vision and direction and alignment. Your department's vision is highly regulated to whatever the CIO says uh, that you can afford, or quite frankly, the CEO wants you to think that you have some type of control, but really, they're pulling all the strings in the matter, and you're just going to have to do what they want you to do, but convince everybody that it's actually your idea, not theirs. Um... Let's see. Uh, leadership builds effective teams that demonstrate consistent, exceptional performance. They don't want complainers. That's really all it is. Uh, evaluates, recommends, and coordinates changes, improvements, and technology systems and processes. Again, this goes back to what the company is willing to pay for. If they're not willing to pay for it, chances are you're probably going to have to deal with an antiquated system for probably about 10 years more before somebody decides to do something or Microsoft decides to say that we're going to end life this thing. Um, let's go sets expectations. So basically they want to know if you're going to be setting some performance. PIPs, um, they want you to have a bachelor's degree in computer related field or five years experience equivalent. So essentially they want you to, they want to see if somebody was dumb enough to put you in that role and then they're going to just take advantage of the fact that you're probably jaded and don't care about that position anymore and they're just going to want you to pull you over. Nobody cares about your degree in IT. Sorry. Um, ability to collect, summarize, and analyze data. So again, that whole doing everybody else's job. So chances are you're probably going to have to step in for, you know, accounting to check bills and or marketing to check, you know, SEO numbers and all that other fun stuff because nobody else is going to be willing to do it. But because you're in a position where you're comfortable, but not really, that you're just gonna they're going to ask you to do it anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's go to sys administrator. This is all in Madison. I feel like there's a trend here. So. Shift, eight hour shift, mm-hmm, day shift, mm-hmm, Monday through Friday, mm-hmm, on call. So that means weekends. That means when they want you to push out any type of production activity or any changes, they're going to want you to work on the weekend. And even better is that if something is loading way too slow, chances are they're going to call the help desk who's going to turn going to help you and say, hey, the network's performance is really crappy. You deal with it. I'm going to go enjoy my weekend. Have a nice day. Goodbye. I mean... Uh, let's see schedule um, when they say rotating the on call is rotating uh, look at the task 
in the interview, what is the size of the team? If the team is under 10 people, you can expect to be on call probably 90% of the time. Those are just the rules. Don't, don't ask. Um, let's, let's look at the qualifications before anything else. Technical training in an information technology related field. Did you work help desk? Uh, three to five years of systems administrative support preferred. Notice as they said support, which means that you're just advanced help desk. Uh, broad knowledge of server software, hardware, and operating systems. You're about to have to learn every third party program, every program, main program, and every program that they're considering using before anybody else uh, gets to use it. And then, you know, on top of all of your other duties that you have to deal with day to day. Uh, experience with VMware, Veeam, and other data center technologies. Okay, this is actually a plus. That means they actually care about backing up their data in a non-dumb way. And when I say non-dumb way, I mean you don't have your IT manager's uh, personal storage being tied up because your company is too cheap to purchase actual, you know, backup solutions. Um, let's see, customer service skills. So you're going to have to talk to people, probably lead meetings. Good luck with that. Uh, okay ability to lift and carry 15 to 30 pounds so essentially you're going to be swapping out servers that's what that means they they don't have anything else uh let's go back up must have a good command of english language to support effective phone desk side and email support this title looks like it's just a help desk role but you're called a systems administrator i will say this take the role so that way you can actually get a real sysadmin job in about a year or two give or take Um, so if you want a part two, drop it in the comments below.